readjusting my bottle on my ginger kombucha. Prepping myself. <clears throat> Psyching up. Everyone's working for the weekend, and I am geo-guessing for the weekend. We have a three-day weekend this weekend. And I figured my thought process, hmm, what should I do? So I just searched vacation. <clears throat> and one of the first ones was Wisconsin vacation destinations. And as hilarious as that was, I didn't feel like being isolated in vacation like Wisconsin that seems like an oxymoron to me wanting to go to Wisconsin for vacations but maybe that's just me maybe I'm just in that mood right now anyway I just found another one off this um GeoGuessr themed map called Vacation Where with two question marks at the end of it so you know that they're very puzzled by it it's got nine locations and 16,000 points seems to be the average let me clear my throat like that popular rap song that gets played in every bar, at least in my college town, to start the game. Well, I think I know where this is. Although this isn't the most accurate, accurate representation of Venice. Well, it seems to be focused around Europe here, so it's probably where we're going to be. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, apparently Venice now, it's... I mean, I gotta cough again. Give me a sec. <clears throat> Sorry. Good thing I caught that then. I hit the button, but it didn't register. Anyway. This isn't very accurate now because all of the water is super clear now because there's no tourists no boats going around it's uh got dolphins and shit in it now it's crazy um like wondering the history of this i never actually bothered to look into venice as to like why did you build this in the middle of water i know that's not the case but they've like built structures and lifestyles and people lived and died in just this water water city but since we can't vacation just yet let's just look at people who vacationed in oh can i zoom out yeah 2013 christ that was a long time ago where were you seven years ago i was In the midst of one of my most funnest jobs, let me tell you. Is this, oh, I almost thought that was a French flag. Anyway, I need another sip. How's your, how was your week? How's my week? Well, you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because you're a captive audience. Um, just got back from a doctor's appointment. I can check the list off a, a sonogram. And I'm not pregnant. But never had one of those before. It's very weird. I had no idea that the it, the the gel that they put on you when they go to do it was warm, maybe a little hot. Like I don't know the reasoning behind. It. I'm sure there obviously is a reason they do it that way because like, um, if they didn't have to put it on warm, they wouldn't. And they there's just this little thing. Uh. An epilator. If you've ever seen an epilator, they're kind of shaped like that, but very thin at the end of it. And uh, I don't think... I'm, 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 well, let's just keep taking a little tour around town, I guess. And they just rubbed it on my neck, which was a weird place, but, you know, they make tools for everything, I guess. So a um, sonogram in your neck isn't that weird, I guess. And... Uh, Got to look at things inside my neck. I mean, <clears throat> it's one of those things that you know all about sonograms, but it's just the technology behind it and how it actually works is still crazy to me. How they actually got uh, to figure out, hey, we'll send sound waves in and either somehow it echoes back and the computer can um, process that and figure out, okay, this is what, how, like, 
much sound gets bounced back or how much reception we get is how thick it is in that section. I mean, I'm assuming that's how that works. Either way, it's crazy. Oh, we're going to have a traffic jam here. They let the boat by, didn't they? No, it disappeared. There was people on the boat, but now they're gone. Oh, we were over here in uh, a snack in our Bella Vista. That's a good vacation place. I would approve. This is very bright. Very orange. We in fall. <laughs> in a very large square with some cars parked in the middle of it. Can I see the flags? <laughs> That's a no, apparently. Um, I mean, I looked at it, it's all black and white, and they, they even know how to color coordinate, like, sections of it. Like, I guess motion, being able to see blood and veins, they're like, okay, this is what this means, and um, this color is for this part. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to me, but granted, it's kind of like... All that stuff can be magic for people if they don't really understand how it works to begin with. <clears throat> I just know apparently sounds involved somewhere. We're going to dunk here. Like, I, I don't understand how Shazam works, that phone app where you can just put it up to... Okay, this feels like we're like up here maybe in Copenhagen. Because those, those signs are the color they use for... Uh, Denmark, Danish roadways. Like, I, I don't know how Shazam works, where you can just play a little bit of a song in, like, zero time at all, it immediately knows what it is. Like, I'm sure it probably has to do with something with how when you have a radio in your car and it's playing music, it knows what the song is. I don't know. Either way, it's, 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 it's crazy to me. What is this? Like, these are not very good quality photos here, and, like, there's very big steps in between. I think that might be a Christian, science Christian book thing. Let's go back the other way. I, wanna, I, want, I want better picture. Can I, can I go over here? I cannot. Fine. All right, let's sit here and just render the photo. We're in Z-Land. Well, I know where we are. Mm. Excuse me, I finished off my kombucha. <sighs> I would go here. Denmark, this seems a fun place. Got some coffle and apple gack in your slog room for 350 that doesn't look Danish to me. Ooh, what is my phone saying? Nothing of importance. Well, that is a one of the layers I have for GIMP, the free version of Photoshop that I use. Open source, I should say. <clears throat> if you're wondering what that was. I'm, I still have not like seen definitive, definitive. This is Denmark, and assuming it's going to be Copenhagen, but just by those road signs, I feel I've made a sound assumption. Although that looked French to me, and now I'm concerned. No, 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 I, I, I think I'm right. Can I see? No, these are just not very good quality photos. You got any good stuff here? NL. Okay, so we're in Amsterdam. Let's screw into where's Amsterdam? Right in the center. Good thing I saw that right at the end. Dot NL. All that time. Well, no, we were in Mecklenburg. Is that or is it Midburg? That's Middleburg. Okay. That's a big square in Middleburg. The Winterstad. That's cool. Um, well, this is a single photo from a gentleman <clears throat> who's got 
like that wrapping paper you put into bags when you're uh, putting a gift in a bag and not like wrapped up. Uh, Notre Dame. Is this Notre Dame? I believe it is. I mean, that is very much like a building that's on the uh, main, whatever it's called. All right, now I gotta try to find it. Notre Dame. Looking, looking, looking. Here we go. I believe we are right there. Now, what else is going on? Oh, I'm making another batch of uh, hard cider, but this time I actually got some rhubarb now. Rhubarb's the greatest thing in the world. I, I really like rhubarb. The problem is, whenever people make things with rhubarb, it's always with strawberry. And I'm here to tell you, that shit's way overrated. Apple rhubarb pie is the greatest pie in the world, and I will not hear otherwise. And it's also impossible to find any rhubarb um, hard cider around here. I know they make it. I had it when I was in Iceland. It was a version made by Carlsberg. You know, some subsidiary thing. That's what it said in the side of the can. Um, it was good, but I'm very much making my own. I already made like a rhubarb syrup. We're going to see how well that turns out. I'm a little worried though because I don't know how it happened. In the process of fermenting the cider, it actually bubbled up through the, the carboy. And if you don't know what that is, it's, it's the thing you put on top of the bottle when you're fermenting. So it'll let bubble at, like gas out, but it won't let air in. And it has like water in between it. It kind of goes up and down. Like when you're uh, um, in your plumbing. If you look at like a toilet, it has that little break in it by going down and up. It's, it's the same thing. There's just water in there. And I can't remember exactly if um, it's bad, but it actually does that. And I think, it, I think it, it, it totally did that, but I think it's fine. I don't know how. Like, I've done it a couple other times now, and I don't really know how it actually happened where uh, I'll, I should probably just let you have a moment to look at, look at this. But I don't know how it happened that uh, this one seemed to be way more, like, reactive. Maybe there's just more sugar in it. I don't know. Either way, it's, uh, it, it, it hopefully will turn out well. Like, um, I have to put it in after it's going through this first fermentation process. Uh, I'll add it in afterwards because apparently, like, if you put it in right in the beginning, it would take all the sugars out of it, and I don't know if you've ever had rhubarb. Some of the aftertaste can be a bit, like, grassy, a little bitter. So putting it in afterwards so you get the sweetness from it should actually help. I'm very excited. Hopefully it turns out well. And if you've never had rhubarb, go try yourself um, it. It's pretty sour. I grew up with it, grew up with it as a kid. And we've always had apple rhubarb pie. It's great. Strawberry rhubarb can go fuck itself for all I care. Make a guess. I was a point off. Should have been closer. Pat, ooh, this one is manufactured downtown. Oh, God. All right, I can tell you right now, I've never actually been to Disney World, and I have zero de desire to do so as well. I don't care about Disney World. Now I gotta remember exactly where it is. Somewhere in here. Bush Gardens. Isn't it like near Orlando or is it? Hmm. Now I gotta remember where it is. <clears throat> is it near Lakeland? No, it was its own thing. Like I remember being around Tampa. And seeing signage for it. So maybe it's over here. It's definitely going to be large enough where it'll be like that. And I will be able to see it. I got to clear my throat again. Sorry. All right, let me try to find it. This is 
a little annoying. I can't find, but also I, I don't care. It's Disney World. Maybe I would have cared when I was a kid, but now, no, not at all. Dr. Phillips is here, apparently. <laughs> what the fuck is... Oh, it's, it's a town called Dr. Phillips? Okay. Weird. Epcot, here we go. All right, now I found it. Um, I don't know where the, the thing is, but I'm going to guess we're like right here. Main Street, USA. Uh, it's just so fake and manufactured and unenjoyable. It, it's, it's not my place I'd like to go. Like, I don't care about this stuff. I feel bad for the employees. I mean, a lot of people who probably work here enjoy it. They, they like, they, they, they find pleasure in it. But no, not, I, this is, this feels like if I had to work here, all my enjoyment and happiness would just be faked and ugh, it's not genuine to me. Also, this place is probably super expensive. My sister went when she was a little kid. Uh, I never actually got the chance to. I definitely did as a kid. I mean, one thing I usually did to grade was like, okay, I'm no longer a little kid because such and such. And one of the things I used to grade that was, okay, what was the last Disney film as a kid that I actually, like, cared about? And I know that I didn't give a shit about Mulan when that came out. Aladdin, yeah, definitely I did. Little Mermaid, I hated. My sister liked Little Mermaid, I didn't. Um, what else was there? Is there another one that was after Mulan? I can't remember. Oh, Pocahontas. I think Pocahontas might have been it. Where I didn't see that one. I didn't really want to. So I was like, okay, that was when that stage of my life ended. Like, I, I could branch off. Okay, I didn't care about Pocahontas, so Disney movies are dumb. They're dumb, stupid little kid movies. I don't care. You know, fast forward 10, 15 years at that point. I actually liked Wally. -E. It was an enjoyable movie. Um, think of all the Pixar movies I've seen. I remember seeing Toy Story and then, like, the first one it first came out and thinking it was crazy you know, the CGI they use for that stuff. And I still specifically remember in the opening credits when they're sitting in that chair and it's spinning around. I think it was like a recliner or something. I remember when they showed, like, I think it was Woody sitting next to him in the chair. And, like, you saw his leg. I'm like, wow, that looks actually like it's real life. It blew my mind. I'm sure if I went back and looked at it now, I was like, oh, yeah. You know what? I forgot about Euro Disney. Euro Disney, forgot about Euro Disney. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I even saw that was I saw that was Europe, and I know that when it was zoomed out, it was like showing this part of the world. But I guess what my thought was, well, it's focusing on here, but in the in the view, it's over here. I deserve no points for that. That's hilarious. This is got some sun cover on it. Um, I don't know what this is. Is this Brandenburg Gate? No, it's not Brandenburg Gate. This is Spain. Policia Madrid, huh? Let's just get right into the middle here. Come on. Thank you. I'm going to guess we're in Centro. And you're like, I want to say we're next to La Bobiba. Bobiba. Just because it says Bobiba. I'm going to put us right there. Uh, it's hilarious that I just completely botched. I just completely botched that Euro Disney one. Why didn't see? Okay, well, I've already zoomed in, so it doesn't matter now. Why did I not think? that there was, There's Euro Disney. There's... Friggin' Patronomio Nacional. Is that a Patromino? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to bother trying. Patromino Nacional. Is this it? I don't know. I'm going to put us right there. Anyway. 
What's my plans for this weekend? Big three day weekend. I don't know. This is the hottest day of the year we've had so far. Uh, it's supposed to be even hotter over the weekend. Maybe I'll put my AC in. Um, my golf. I mean, golf is kind of weird and open over here. Um, but this is also, since it is such a nice, um, a nice weekend, everyone else is going to think the same thing. And uh, if I didn't book it by now, it's probably too late. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll hike. I haven't done that in a long time. I mean, I couldn't for a while, and we're kind of on the tail end of May where you're not. There's a chunk of May when it's still pretty snowy on the mountains and muddy, and they kind of don't want you. Is this? I thought that was the coast, and I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Where they don't want you on the trail because it's muddy, and it's going to end up causing worse damage to the uh, trail. I think we're past that. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll take some phone video and then make a thing off that. I probably won't. I really should just get a uh, GoPro and do some more fiddling around here. I can't really do many effects. Like one of the things I wanted to do in that video that I put up, if you hadn't seen it yet, it's put it out on a Sunday, go check it out, where it was panning in one direction and looking at it, it was like, I don't like the way this pans. I want it to go the other way. So I went to reverse the clip I had, but I think it's just the RAM I have in my computer that did not like trying to reverse that. It, it hated it, and it got super choppy, and I was too paranoid that it was just the preview screen that was fucked up, and I would have actually been able to see the video just fine afterwards, but I didn't want to risk it, so I just left that in the way it was. But maybe I need to get a new computer in the future and maybe consider a bit more video editing horsepower in it as well. I think that's all RAM shit, but I don't know. This is a year and a half, two year old computer at this point. It's, it's, it's getting on that window. Oh, yeah, it was farther up north. <laughs> Except for that one fucking eye store. This wasn't that bad. Well, that's going to do it for this Friday and this week. Some GeoGuessr here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions for maps, games, anything that you'd like to see me either try or do, go ahead and put them in the comments below, along with all your like, favorite, comments, subscribes. Um, yeah. Thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, observations, whatever you want. I'm here to read them and respond back to you. I haven't eaten since like 6.30. It's been about 10 hours now since I've eaten. Kind of hungry. I think I'm going to go get some food here while this video edits, renders, and uploads. Gonna thank you all. I hope you have a very nice and pleasant weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday for some more geoguessing. So until then, folks. Take care.